In today's lesson, we're going to talk about using the expanded form strategy when adding. Let's talk place value first, 3,274. This four is in the ones column. The ones column is always furthest to the right. Then we have the tens column and to the left of that, the hundreds column. To the left of the hundreds column is the thousands column. This three is in the thousands column, so it represents 3,000. This two represents 200. This seven in the tens column represents seven tens or 70. And this represents four ones, so just four. When we're writing an expanded form, we always add the addition symbols in between. Okay, let's do our first example, 35 plus 17. This three is in the tens column, it represents three tens or 30. This five is five. This one represents 10 and this seven is seven. Remember your addition symbols. Let's add 30 plus 10, then five plus seven, which gives us 40 plus 12 for a final sum of 52. 87 plus 26, this eight is in the tens column, it represents eight tens or 80. Then we have seven, two is 20 because it's in the tens column and that's six. Remember your addition symbol. 80 plus 20, then seven plus six, which gives us 100 plus 13 for a final sum of 113. Here's our last example. Let's work with three digit numbers. This one represents 100, this two represents 20, and this four is simply four. This three is in the hundreds column, it represents 300. This seven represents seven tens or 70, and that's two. Remember your addition symbols. Let's add 100 plus 300. Then our tens, 20 plus 70. Then our ones, four plus two which gives us 400 plus 90 plus six for a final sum of 496. I hope this video explained the expanded form well when using addition. 